I started my journey overhauling my wardrobe and refining my personal style in my early 20s. Inspired by French minimalist bloggers, I made a list of every item I felt my wardrobe needed. And then I tried to track down the perfect version of each item. I'd spend hours scouring every corner of the internet trying to track down these items, mostly with the intention of investing, and I'm using the term very loosely here, in contemporary brands. The 200 odd items I already had in my closet which didn't fit this narrowly defined idea of my perfect wardrobe were sold off in order to fund these new purchases, even though they were all perfectly fine. It wasn't long after that I discovered the capsule wardrobe concept. This appealed to me because it spoke to the core elements of the perfect wardrobe I'd imagined. Versatile basic pieces which can easily be mixed and matched. Endless outfit options and never having that feeling of a wardrobe full of clothes but absolutely nothing to wear. Ironic that this was the catalyst for my revelation that the perfect wardrobe, as I saw it anyway, didn't exist. The more that I wore certain items, the more that I saw their flaws, how I wish I'd opted for a slightly different detail, a different cut, or a different fabric. It was this very mentality that I had in my early 20s that would have me seeking out perfection all over again, spending even more time trying to track down the perfect piece. I began to realize that the ideal wardrobe, if you can even call it that, is situational. It's dictated by our tastes and preferences at any singular point in time. And not to mention that some of us are just a little bit more fickle than others. I began to get a sense that the things that really drove what I considered to be the perfect wardrobe at any one time were really based on what I needed out of my closet. At 22, this was corporate attire, going out dresses, and really fun, bold prints. I wanted to experiment with what I was wearing. and I didn't want to lock myself into very set boundaries around my style. By my late 20s, this had completely shifted as I'd gotten a new job. The type of clothing that I was wearing to work is what you'd term business casual. And so really, I was focusing a lot on easygoing basics, which would take me from work to weekend. Versatility, again, this is a pretty common theme, but it was key. And now that I'm in my early 30s, what I need out of my wardrobe has changed again entirely because my lifestyle is different. I'm after simple separates, easy throw on and go basics, and items that I can easily launder. I need things that are effortless and aren't gonna to be too much work because my time is at a premium these days. Tying into this idea of the perfect wardrobe was my fantasy self, a lifestyle that isn't reflective of your own and is easily tied back to imagery that you see online or in a magazine or just being inspired by other people that you see out on the street. Going back to those flawed wardrobe staples, what I began to realize is that there's always going to be something else. There's always going to be something better, something new, something that feels fresh and exciting and that is a step above from what you already own. And this very act of continuing the search, whether it's for the, the perfect t-shirt or the perfect blazer or the perfect pair of jeans, it is pulling you away from that concept of being content with what you already own in your wardrobe. And in my experience, no matter how many multiples you have, you're always gonna find yourself going back to a certain one, the one that makes you feel the most comfortable and that you feel most true to yourself in, unless you have a bit of a style uniform, that is. The main thing that it made me realize is that our style journey is never complete. It's never over, especially if you're someone who really likes to experiment and have a little bit of fun with their wardrobe or try new things. Instead of being focused on this idea of the perfect wardrobe that might not suit me 10 years down the line, especially if I go through another massive lifestyle shift, I've changed my focus to instead look out for the right pieces for me and the right pieces for my lifestyle right now. Ones that are gonna be versatile, that make me feel like me and that are ideally things that I could potentially see myself wearing 10 years down the line, but I'm not gonna be too hard on myself if they aren't. Besides, just because a particular item is a classic, it doesn't mean that it has a place in your wardrobe or that it's going to fit your narrative of what your personal style is. I really wanted to start a little bit of a conversation about the perfect wardrobe, and I would love to hear your thoughts and considerations about this down in the comment section below. I think this is such an interesting topic as we've all got our own unique perspectives on it, and I really wanted to do something a little bit different today. 
I do hope that you enjoyed this video and I want to say a huge thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.